Beware the Ides of March. I'm Darren, and this is three things you need to know for Friday, March 15th. Just one week after past Secretary of Treasury Steven Mnuchin was involved in a $1 billion offer to try to save New York Community Bank, he has his paws in forming a group to buy TikTok. There are so many questions about him resurfacing in all these money deals after being Secretary of Treasury, but I'll just say keep your eye on all of his moves and motives. While college basketball heats up, so do the deals at Amazon Prime, as they have their first ever spring sale. They don't want you saying Prime Day either. Starting next Wednesday the 20th, expect fashion, outdoor furniture, cleaning, and organizing products, as well as lawn and garden, among other things, offered. No, I'm not compensated by Amazon in any way for saying this, but if you guys are listening... The Dow Jones estimate was that PPI would increase 0.3% in February. The actual increase was double that. The headline index increased 1.6%, which is the biggest increase since September of last year. Trade while you're sleeping across time zones with Arbitrage Trade Assist. Sign up today at arbitragetrade.com. Arbitrage Trade is your trusted source for business, finance, and tech info. Uh-oh, Brad's buzzed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's starting with the woots. <laughs> <laughs> and now a speech. I just want to say that friendship is about heart. Heart and brain. Who's with me? Good thing is, he knows when he's buzzed. And my brain is saying, when it's time to go home, somebody call me a ride. Love that guy. Me too. Know your buzzed warning signs? Call for a ride when it's time to go home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. So what is this St. Patrick's Day all about? St. Patrick's Day is Sunday, so be safe this weekend no matter how or if you celebrate it. Always remember that you can easily call a ride and go back and pick up your car later if needed. Another option, of course, is to celebrate at someone's home. St. Patrick's Day blends a religious observation with a cultural celebration. Its origins are from the 5th century, when a gentleman named St. Patrick was credited with bringing Christianity to Ireland. The date of celebration is always March 17th, which marks the day of his death. It transitioned from a religious event by the 9th and 10th centuries, when Irish communities in Europe made it more of a feast day. In the 17th century, St. Patrick's official feast day was added to the Catholic Church's liturgical calendar, marking its significance as a religious event. What about celebrating like we do today? Well, that started when Irish immigrants, especially those who came to the U.S., brought their traditions of the day here. What began as a celebration of one man morphed into more of a celebration of Irish culture and heritage. With the day traditionally falling during Lent, when people fast and abstain, this day offered a day of feasting and merriment. This is what eventually led to lively gatherings we see today with parades, festivals, and adult beverages. The wearing of green and shamrocks is pretty self-explanatory, I think. So why don't you watch Waking Ned Divine and drink some Irish whiskey or beer this weekend if you want to dig into the culture. Whatever you do, again, be safe and on time Monday to work. Irish, you the best time this weekend. I'm not sorry for saying that. Stop watching and start living using Pips, our AI bot. Go to arbitragetrade.com and check out Arbitrage Trade Assist. Every family has their baggage. We know she's vaping, drinking. She stays out all night. But we don't have to face these challenges alone. Visit boystown.org slash parenting for expert advice. If you need immediate help, call the trained counselors at the Boys Town National Hotline. Boys Town can help lighten the load so you can get back to the things that matter. For any age, any stage, Boys Town. Pips, pick of the day, and it's fall down Friday. Arbitrage algorithms had detected a possible downtrend for Primerica, Inc. That's P-R-I. They are headquartered in Georgia, and they're in the business of financial products to middle-income households. It operates through following segments, term life insurance, investment and saving products, senior health, and corporate and other distributed products. It was hanging around $244 yesterday, 52-week high of $254.41, 52-week low of $157.02. An insider was reported to have sold almost a million dollars in shares recently. We are not financial advisors. We provide a service. Please do your own research. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics, LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.